Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video we're not going to do any configurations but I want to talk to you about the Exchange Control Panel being accessed externally. Now I'm not sure if you're aware but with Exchange 2016 um, if you weren't up to date with your cumulative updates they were attacking uh, ECP's access on exchange servers um, any organization that they could find and once they breach that they're pretty much in your environment not to scare you or anything else but you should consider turning off access to the EAC and using PowerShell only or not publishing your control panel now the, the thing is Outlook on the web, pretty much uh, on, on legacy versions or OWA on legacy versions, worked hand in hand with the ECP. So you disabled ECP, then users couldn't set out of, uh, out of office, they couldn't do things, etc. on OWA. However, in 2016 and 2019, you know, disabling it doesn't disable functions for the user on uh, Outlook on the web. So to avoid the surface attack of um, the ESC on the internet, like I say, consider not publishing it. Just wanted to show you, if you go to your virtual directories and you look at the ECP, you'll notice that the external URL is blank. Now, what some people, or a lot of people actually do, is they configure the, the internal URL like this, uh, sorry, uh, mail.theexchangelab.com and they pretty much copy it and this is now obviously with DNS uh, everything and published it through your F5s or your uh, camps or whatever uh, load balancer that you use this is now going to be accessible externally. If it was just the internal name of the, the server, remember internal name can't be resolved externally. So just to be aware of that. So consider um, turning this off. Now you're wondering how am I going to turn it off? So if you go to the get ECP virtual directory, uh, ex2016b, uh, sorry, 2019b, got so many servers in my lab, so. As you can see, admin enabled is true. Now, what you could do is you could just uh, say set ECP virtual directory minus admin enabled to false, right? So what that will do is on the, that 2019 server or 2016 server, I'm basically disabling it now. now you can do an IS reset immediately for the change deck effect or you'll see the warning now it'll tell you you need to wait five minutes and it will update then let's just give it a few seconds to do its thing so there's a warning it'll take five minutes for these configuration changes to take effect now if we had to go back to view that virtual directory Let's just give it a second. There it is set to false. So, like I say, you might want to keep one or two inter or one server internally that it has ECP access, but you are pretty much limited on the ESC of what you can do because a lot of stuff is PowerShell driven. I mean, uh, if you enable command logging here, you can pretty much see all the commands that run every time you click on something or you modify something 
it's a PowerShell command running in the background. So might be beneficial to put together uh, a nice uh, guide for your help desk staff, especially if they're coming into recipients and they're creating, you know, groups or contacts, etc. Rather let them work from here, give them the commands, show them how to do it and limit your attack externally. And I'm not saying they're going to attack your server. It's just a precaution because there was an attack, especially uh, people that don't regularly update to the latest CUs because they feel that it's working. Why must I change it? So just be aware of that. You can turn it off. Uh, some big corporates, they do turn it off. They only allow PowerShell access. They don't even allow your RDP access to the server or to log in to do anything. You can only access it via the tools. So that's just... Uh, a little bit of a warning that I wanted to bring to your attention. Don't be alarmed and go now go and change everything in your environment. It's just be aware. If you are publishing ECP externally, just be aware of this of the attack. Just like RDP. And thank you very much for watching.